Good morning. Good morning. What are you doing? Are you watching that? <laughs> Good morning. Come here. You being shy? in the middle again yeah do you I like it? that yeah it looks good what color are you gonna get your nails probably a real light pink I yeah liked it when I had it last this color I thought I liked in that light yeah I get out and it looks a little orangey like yeah weird it's not my favorite you've no. ever had me either Darks. Mm -hmm. I have this burgundy color on mm -hmm. I did that like two months ago <laughs> actually no a few weeks ago I mean it doesn't last that long no mine's Mine like all grown like, out yeah yeah. yeah, I don't know what color I'm going to get because I got this two times in a row, but I really like it. We'll see. So we just got our nails done and this was the color that I picked out. It's like, I don't even know. I think it looks really red on camera. What color would you describe it as? I don't know. To me, it looks even like a little bit pinky. Pinky, yeah. And mom was going to get purple and then she got this color. <laughs> she could totally copied my color yep. and she always jokes because she's like yeah I just get the same color as the person next to me and she leans over and she's like wow that's that color is really pretty and then she and got, I got it, it. <laughs> so we're matching yeah 
It does look a little bit different on the two of us, though. Yeah, I think mine's a little darker. Smaller, right? So the color. Mine's a little more spread out. It's pretty though. I do like it. Mm-hmm. And now we're going Obviously, out to lunch. Obviously, I like it. Where are we going to lunch? Where did we decide? Seasons. We're gonna go to a local. That's a local place, right? That's mm -hmm. on a chain. Yeah, a local restaurant. She gets buffalo chicken salad, and I get like a strawberry brie salad or something. Mm. There's like brie cheese. It's so good. Melted on a stick. I know, it's like fried on a stick. But then the rest of it's salad. It's good. Super yummy. Mom got her shirt at Walmart and it's so cute. Yep, Walmart. It's That's so cute. Too. It was like 12 bucks. You know, Walmart anyway. Hey guys, so I just got home um, from hanging out with my mom all day. It is now almost six o'clock and we left the house this morning at 10 30 and we've been out since um we got our nails done obviously and then we went to lunch and then we hit up christmas tree shop jc penny and target so i'm just going to kind of show you guys everything that i bought um the first thing that i got was this big <laughs> this big star right here beautiful beautiful Fine. Um, a lot of this stuff is going to be super random, but the next thing I bought is this back scratcher. Kyle always says that he would like to have like a back scratcher for in the tub. Um, this one has like nubbies on one side and then it has like the brush on the other. And this was like $8. And then I bought this body wash because it was on sale. Um, it's Shea Moisture. Um, that's the brand and it's the Fruit Fusion Coconut Water. Um, bubble bath and body wash. This smells so delicious. Smells really, really good. And then I just picked up some NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. And I hate these stupid stickers that they put on everything. And then I also picked up two sets of my favorite lashes. Those are the Andrea. Is it Andre or Andrea? 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 Andre. I think it's probably Andrea. <laughs> um... But I picked up some of their lashes in the number 92, and these were actually the lashes that I wore on my wedding day. I adore these eyelashes. They are amazing. So I bought two of those, and then I also restocked on my Maybelline Age Rewind um, Dark Circle Eraser in the color Fair Claire. Love this stuff. My favorite drugstore concealer. And here, oh yeah, I got this lipstick. Let's try it out. Let's give this a go. Looks like in the thing. It's really, really smooth. I love their lipsticks. You can never go wrong with a good like Revlon lipstick. But I don't know about the color. I think I like it. I bought that. I'm just going to wear this for the rest of the video. Um, then I just picked up some cotton balls. So exciting. It's kind of funny. I picked up fruit snacks because my little brother comes over and the first thing he says when he walks in the door is, Sissy, what you have? Kai Kai, what you have for me? I'm hungry. And he's always looking for like fruit snacks or something, um, pretty much something naughty. He wants fruit snacks or chocolate. So the next thing I bought from Target, I'm really excited about these. I think these are so cute. It's like a it has three straps and I love that they have the gold buckles and then it kind of has this like chunky heel. I don't know if you guys can see that, but they're super cute. It's like a faux suede um, material. I picked up these earrings that I've had my eye on for a long time then they went on sale so I was like, Pfft. but they're just these little earrings. I think they're super cute. I could actually wear them with what I have on. And then from JCPenney, we didn't have too, too much luck last time I was there. I got like four tops, two necklaces, and like a dress. Like I made out really, really well. But this time I only ended up getting two tops, but they're super cute. So the first one looks like this. And it's just long sleeve. And the sleeve is kind of like a see-through kind of like mesh. It has the ruffle here. Um, and it's just kind of sheer up here as well, like above the ruffle. And then the last thing I got is just this top here. And it's like a really tiny black and green animal print. And then it has like a little button at the sleeve so you can roll it up or you can leave it down like a dress shirt. And it has the tie at the front with the little grommet so that you can kind of like lace it up higher if you want. About that. 
He's handsome. He's just so handsome. Sit down for me. It's be like a time now since we've met up by accident a couple times now. Well, how come they didn't invite him? There's some email we're supposed to be getting. So we're on our way to Lowe's right now to get something to hang that star in the garage because I didn't really think of that. You're my star. <laughs> and we also need um, something to hang a thing that's been in the dining room, a big picture that goes on the wall and it's been like sitting on a table because we can't figure out how to hang it on the wall. It's just like a big piece of wood. It's just no, flat on both sides. No, we can figure out sides. how to hang it, but you don't want, she doesn't want screws in it. Yeah, he wanted to just like screw through the... So the don't picture. say we can't figure out how to hang it. We can't figure out how to hang it without ruining it. No, we can. We're doing. We're fixing that problem right now. I know we are. What the? That's why I'm saying we're going to get something to hang. Don't make us sound incompetent. <laughs> Was that a big word for you? Or are you proud just, of yourself? I just learned it this morning. It's good. Can you spell it? Yep. I am competent. Can you help over there, babe? You help with the <laughs> <laughs> potatoes and chicken? It is. Bacon, spicy sausage, potatoes, and chicken. <laughs> Look at it. That's a man's meal right there. Protein. My wife doesn't feed me anymore. So. Stop. I wanted to show you guys this little thing that I got at Burlington a little um, while ago. It was like a couple weeks ago, but it's just so cute. It's a little organizer. Yeah, we just hung this. Well, grateful sign, which we got. <laughs> what the hell? We got um, as a bridal shower gift. So I think it's perfect in this room. And then we actually got that little table from Target as a bridal shower gift too. And I feel like on this side, I need a little vase with some flowers that like come up this way. Um, like maybe like yellow or something like that. And then I feel like that little wall will be complete. But definitely feel like I need something next to the candle that's a little bit higher but that's what we hung I feel like he always snores when he sleeps he does you? he always snores I wonder if that's part of his breed I don't know if I told you yeah I told them what breed he was in my Bone other video beagle boxer pit bull bulldog hound mostly pit bull Badass dog. Say something about it, haters. I was gonna say, if any of you guys have pit bulls, um, please comment down below and let us know if. I mean, obviously, if your dog's full bred pit bull, people probably recognize the breed right away. With him, you can tell he's a mix. So people are like, "Oh, he's so handsome. What kind of dog is he?" And we're like, oh, he's a bully mix. So he's bulldog, boxer, pit bull. And we start naming them. As soon as you say pit bull, I would say, what, eight out of 10 people? Oh, yeah. Either make a comment, yep. step back. I had one woman, like, she was, like, leaning over to pet him. And when I said pit bull, she, like, <laughs> stepped back and, like, put her hands behind her back. She's like, oh, he's cute. And then continued walking. I'm like, first of all, okay, no, first of all. The breed has a bad name because of the way they're raised. They're strong dogs, so a lot of people raise them to fight um, or to be like overly protective or whatever. It's not necessarily just in their blood. Second of all, he was only like two months old at the time. So anyway, we've just kind of been struggling with people's response, especially because he's a puppy. Like, how can you not love a puppy? And they just judge him automatically and... It's just frustrating because I truly believe it's in the way that they're raised. So if you guys can comment down below with um, if you have a pit bull and if you have any good comebacks for those assholes who don't like pit bulls or just think that they're nasty dogs. Because um, he doesn't look like he's going to eat anybody. And he's honestly a really good dog. He's pretty easy to train when you say yep. I feel like when he's naughty when he doesn't like if you ask him to sit or go in his kennel or stay if he doesn't it's because he doesn't want to he's stubborn I won't deny that at all the stubbornness might be from one of the other breeds I don't know if that's pitbull bulldog I heard like bully bulldog or stubborn dogs what when he um when he's when he sleeps on us and doesn't care what breed is that well all dogs, but, all dogs, but 
Yeah. Did you read that? Yeah, I read a thing about pit bulls, but it was probably a biased article. But yeah, he takes up the whole bed. He like legitimately doesn't care. He'll like sit on your head. Oh, he's right pissed off because I just touched his leg. Yep. <laughs> um. Yeah, he'll like sit on your head or literally put his paw like this. Oh, let me show you guys a picture actually on my phone of what he does. I shall show you guys a Snapchat too. We could sit here and talk about our dog all night. We're like proud dog parents. So here's a photo. <laughs> You're making the shamrock cake. The wow. <laughs> making the shamrock cake. The shamrock cake. <laughs> um, so there's that. And then there's this video I'll show you guys. As you can see, he does not care. And then he falls off the bed shortly after this. <laughs> Bye. So, yeah, that's pretty much how he sleeps and how he wakes up in the morning. <laughs> it's like that. So, he just does not care. But, anyway, it's a long talk about our dog. He just farted. Stop showing his balls on camera. I'm showing his leg. Now it's on my leg. Hmm. Look at him. Oh my freaking word. Here's the crack of the couch. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you talk so loud. He does that when he literally doesn't want you to talk anymore. Hmm. <laughs> It's because you're talking so loud and he's trying to sleep. Is your name really Chris? <laughs> well, you're touching the freaking mean... wizard sleeve. It would piss me off. To see? I didn't oh, mean to. No, he's going. Oh, does he have to go on his $100 doggy bed? What a poor dog. I feel bad for him. Look at Kyle, him. he has a temper pedic. Kyle, you're still yelling. You're still yelling. I think we're going to end it here. Um, so, if you guys want more vlogs. Let me know. Um, I don't really feel like our life is all that exciting. If you guys have any video requests, though, let me know. Just because it's been weird where I took, like, almost two months off from YouTube. Now I'm just like, what did I used to film? <laughs> and, like, I don't really know what you guys want to see. So I don't know if you guys want to see, like, a wedding makeup tutorial or something like that. Because um, if you guys haven't seen our wedding video, that was the last one that we posted. And I will either link it at the end of this video or down below. But, um, yeah, just leave me some, some video ideas or whatever you guys want to see down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we love you guys. Bye. Toot on the little.